Hi. Finally. Finally, exactly. It's been a while. It's been a while. Ob ob obviously the reasons, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. Here we are. Here we are. We know each other well, but for the people out there watching, I usually start off with the same question. Who are you and how did you end up in Stockholm's techno scene? Uh, first of all, who am I? Uh, I am um, uh, I am a dedicated um, music nerd <laughs> that I uh, I start from the beginning uh, when I was let's say I was 10 maybe I get this 12 cassettes uh, uh, 24 cassettes 12 cassettes each from my uncle blank no they the were recorded with uh -huh. uh, 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 the first cassette box was with all the records from Beatles oh wow and the next one was all the recorders from uh, Jim Hendrix and um, I uh, started to listen to them listen to them every every free time I had I listened to them and I start to get the feeling what the fuck is this and start to learn about music and uh, what makes me happy and what makes me sad and what makes me and I early in my life understand that music is something that is more than music uh, we were a member of a, let's say a gang in, uh, in the city mm -hmm. it's called Chess Chess is a uh, he was a leader of the gang okay. because he drink Chess beer ah, and he's okay. fighting a lot okay. and, uh, uh, in the city at that time this was a little bit before uh, Kung San uh, stuff was Kung San? Uh, everybody was in Kung San you know, Kung San uh, you mean? Kung San, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, it started there, but I'm uh, maybe two, three years older, so it didn't... But everybody was in the city. Okay, yeah. And... Um, that was like the hotspot for all the teenagers back then? Yeah, but we still... we still. It was a lot of fights between uh, me in the gang with Chess. We were hard mm. rockers. Okay. And then it was the synth. <clears throat> and then it was the skinheads, okay. and then it was the, uh, what can you say, uh, um, the taekwondo stuff, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, anyway. I met some people and they started playing uh, Bob Marley for me. But I was, uh, for me, still, I have all the Black Sabbath uh, <laughs> original <laughs> press records in the basement here. Fantastic. So I'm still, uh, for me, uh, Black Sabbath is it's very close to my heart, yeah. Mm. Uh, Would you say that's where you got your start? That was like your first band that you felt like you discovered for yourself and really felt like the connection to their music? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I was so into them, uh, really. Uh, but, but in the whole scene, so we were, actually um, have a, a connection with uh, Anders, uh, Anders Tegner from OK and okay. he didn't work uh, in OK that, and that what's, time. What's OK? OK was, a, uh, okay was a huge... Uh, we start from the beginning. The first one <laughs> uh, uh, in that time yeah. was a, called, a magazine called Posters. Okay. Posters. And you can get uh, all about uh, the rock stars, yeah, yeah. and you can take out, uh, and you get a poster on your as wall. well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in my room, mm -hmm. I was a huge Kiss fan. Yeah, yeah. I was such a huge Kiss fan. So I uh, even put, and this is a big thing at that time. My walls was Kiss. And even the roof, I have a kiss poster. So fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, in the Träslöjd, mm -hmm. when we have this, I make a bass because I was such Wait, a huge tre, fan tre, of. What's uh, Träslöjd? Huh? Träslöjd. Uh, when you go to school, you can uh, other have uh, wooden 
Oh, okay, like, so it's like a class in school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you can go uh, learn yeah. sewing. Yeah. Or you can go with the wood. Yeah. Uh, like arts and crafts and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have to do that <laughs> uh, one hour a week or something. But I make a, a base exactly like uh, Gene Simmons' base. Wow. In, in wood and uh, because I was such. And uh, I even sit in the nights mm. uh, pulling my tongue out to have such a big <laughs> tongue as him. <laughs> I was really. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Mm. That was me uh, trying to be Gene Simmons. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, ever since, I realized that um, music is a big part of my life. Mm. Big part, big part. So, uh, whatever I uh, choose for, um, what kind of music I, I come into, it's, yeah. I go 100%. All the way, yeah. She's gonna make us some more food. And try to have a nice evening with a little bit of wine and some smiles and some good times. Stay tuned. Hello, girls and boys. We're back with another episode of Marie's Recipes. This week, we're in Marie's kitchen. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. We're back at it again. What are we going to make this week, Marie? Uh, whatever is in my fridge. Mm. Yeah. So it's going to be one of those like, uh, let's make it work one pot improvised kind exactly. of things. Yeah. This is exactly for the techno people. When you come home from a party, mm. hungry, you haven't eaten, been dancing for 12, 14, 16 hours. What we got for them today, Marie? Okay, first of all, so I found some like frozen white fish in the freezer. Go. So, okay, yeah, we have our protein then, like, yeah. so that's done. Fish we uh -huh. got. Um, potatoes. Yeah. I've got some uh, mushrooms. Yeah. Onions. Some very, very, very sad, like, celery. celery. Oh, man. Yeah. So that has to be used anyway. Got some ivy. It's relish in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, relish. so I'm gonna use this. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I have some, you know, canned tomatoes. There we go. Uh, also, I know that I have some breadcrumbs. Uh huh. So, I was thinking that I'm gonna make like a fish casserole. Okay. Uh, with a breadcrumb topping. So, it's like a crispy breadcrumb topping. Okay. I uh, think I have some, like, uh, yeah, I do. Cheese, so. Some cheese left over as well, so all I will right. mix that in with the breadcrumbs. This is gonna be all like in one pan. Fantastic. And we cook it in the oven and we're good to go. I have no idea what you mean, but let's see how it works out. Okay. About how much fish would you say that was? This is one kilo of fish. One kilo of fish? Yeah, yeah but like, yeah, use whatever you got. Because yeah. yeah. last time we were very unspecific. Last yeah. time we didn't particularly say exactly yeah. how much everything was. Yeah. This time I think I'm gonna put like a whole digital, yeah. like a little recipe on the picture and all that shit. Maybe it's right here. Mm -hmm. Recipe. <laughs> yeah, I'm recipe. gonna preheat the <laughs> oven recipe. as well. Yeah. I'm gonna set it to like, yeah, 175 or something. All right. Yeah. So uh, this, this is gonna be like a fish lasagna, but without the noodles. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, but before we do too much. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Don't forget to drink. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think I already also had like some spinach. So I'm going to add some spinach to the sauce as well. Mm. Going to have some extra nutrition. Yeah. Also we'll add some olive oil. But I thought it was all going in the oven. Why are you doing this now? Because I'm making like a better tomato, uh, better sauce like to put on top of the fish. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna mix, you know, these two. All right. For me, onions are like the base of everything. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the estimated cooking time on all this? Uh, I'd say it's gonna be like 45 minutes. All right. Mm. 
Yeah, it's just a white fish, yeah. It's just white fish. Mm -hmm. Guess why it's called white fish? Because it's white? <laughs> Gonna let these two like cook together. Give it like three, four minutes. Cheers again. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice pot. Yes. Look at that one. Mm-hmm. Saw so rippled inside. <laughs> Ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> yes. It always amazes me how you can turn everything. Me? Yeah. I, I got a gift, man. You have a gift. I got a gift. Can I put some oil in the bottom? Some drizzle some oil? I'm just like, uh, basically you create like, sort of like a lasagna sheet at the bottom. Ooh. I happen to have some uh, <laughs> boiled buckwheat left over. So I'm gonna throw this in here as well. Put the fish on top here. Don't forget to add some salt. So it's kind of like I'm making um, yeah, a, a shepherd's pie of sorts. Mm. <laughs> Grating some Parmesan to put in the panko. Oh, you put it in there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna yeah, mix it around so when it bakes, it's gonna like become like a like a fried bread cheesy exactly. crust. The topping right there. Mm-hmm. It's the kicker. Twenty minutes in the oven only. Yeah, because like wow. the everything is you everything is basically cooked now, isn't it? Yeah. And fish uh, takes almost no time to cook. Yeah, it. exactly. What's the temperature again? It's two hundred. In the meantime, we're gonna hang, we're gonna drink some wine, we're gonna talk some more shit, and uh, see y'all in two zero. You're still watching the 5T vodcast, techno and talk on Tuesdays and Thursdays with Ty. That's right. <laughs>
that I'm searching for. And then came Dennis Pop. Dennis Pop, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dennis Pop, you know, the famous. Okay, Ace of Base. That's I grew up in the States, events. bro. Oh. Ace of Base, I know, yes. Yeah. That was probably uh, like his, yeah, his yeah. not so cool. Uh, Dennis Pop is one of the world's biggest producers in, really? um, in pop music. He okay. was a pioneer. Pioneer. Uh, so, um, he had this club, Bat Club. Uh, but I was uh, going to Ritz uh, before that, and then suddenly I, uh, it became Bat Club, and I started to listen, and then it was uh, this acid house music, and I, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is good stuff. Yeah. Wow. And um, then I started to know people who go in there, and we start to make friends. And then we make friends, 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 you know, rings on the water. And then after a while, I start to meet other friends. And then we start to uh, evolve a rave scene. Yeah. And Again, I, start, I have uh, to ask, not to cut you off, but I have to ask, what year is this? You like to keep... 88. 88, fantastic. And now it's 89. Yeah. Now we're up to 90. Yeah. And uh, 91, I think, uh, we uh, start our first club, me, Paul, Yuri Kantanen, and um, uh, 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 yeah. okay. my name. No, I mean, my we don't. My first Diddy name yeah. was uh, uh, Diddy uh, Fix. DJ Fix? Yeah, Diddy Fix okay. with two X. Yeah. Paul was Gonzo. Yeah, he was did the trip man. Did the trip man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we were young. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you have to start somewhere, and we have. Uh, I, I, we started in uh, Rådhuset. Mm. That is um, right now. It's I don't know what to do right there right now, but. In, you mean like the area Rådhuset? No, uh, they have uh, inside the tube. Okay, in the subway station. The subway station. You used to have parties in the subway station. They still have, but now it's more for uh, Somalia and Eritrea and really? uh, clubs. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should do some techno down there again. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> they don't go, love go, us go, no go more. there. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Well. Uh, so that's where it started uh, first. And then we, uh, you know, start to. Um, evolve and get to know everybody and it start to be a community and uh, everybody you know what the fuck is this okay so let me get this right what is this you start hanging at this uh bat club bat club yeah it's you, all started with a bat bat club fantastic mm -hmm. you meet all these people that were into acid house mm -hmm. and then how long did it take before you started doing your own thing one year two years five years uh, two three years three, three years. years three okay. years but <laughs> we weren't good. Yeah. Uh, I remember our first gig at uh, uh, at Club Soma. You know, you're just standing at home. You have two you have two uh, 1200s yeah. and a mixer, and you know you haven't really get the hang of the beat matching. You know, <laughs> you know you call the galop mix. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Is it good? <laughs> Double up, ah, yeah. Come on, just do it like this. Exactly. And next record, you know. Exactly. But hey, yeah. for you who's not, start with vinyl. So get to know. Exactly. How you, it don't have, you don't have all the extra aids and the B, BPM matching yeah, and the syncing and stuff. But you also get the feeling for, exactly. uh, for, for uh, does it, even if it's beat matching. Mm. It maybe don't sound good. Exactly, it's a little bit off. Uh, it's all. Yeah. This is a whole science. Mm -hmm. To understand music, you have to do it the hard way. You have to dive deep into it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I also if it's it. not the passion, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. I also learned to play, like the first thing I played on was vinyl. And I yeah. think that gave me like a good foundation because I know what it was that I was trying to do. Yeah. I mean, you understand, okay, this record's spinning this fast, and yeah. I need this record to be spinning just as fast, so when I put them together, it sounds good, it sounds the same. 
Yeah, well, for sure in the beginning, oh no, no, but when you yeah. suddenly you start it, to immerse yeah. them, yeah. and you, hear, you can hear, wow! It's like wow. a new song all of a sudden. Yeah, it's yeah. a new song, yeah. and you just. Yeah, I get goosebumps <laughs> right now because all memories when it's when it's good, when it's good, yeah, yeah, it's it's magic. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. So. After that, uh, we start to have. Um, we now we are uh, this group of people mm -hmm. that go to the parties, and uh, we start to um, have this feeling that we are now we are a community, and we are a family yeah. because uh, we are the first who <laughs> doing this. Okay. And it's magic, and we are like, wow, yeah. uh, and uh, the feeling uh, everybody that you knew, you know, how are you, and so we are still friends. 30 years later, yeah. we are still friends for life. Yeah. Uh, that means this is a good thing, you know, it's good, um, it's a strong movement. So, but who, strong movement. Who was with you on the first, very first event? Uh, who were the guys? Paul, Yuri yeah. Kantanen, Eye, and uh, who is DJ Fix? That's me. Yuri Kantanen, Eye, yeah, that's our four people. And this yeah. was 1991, I think. Wow. Uh, one. What did you call two. you? What did you call yourselves then? DJ Fix. No, not yourself, sorry. What, is, what was the name of the crew? Soma. Soma, Soma okay. Soma. Yeah. All right, is it time now? Is it time? Maybe it's time. Let's go check. All right. Yeah. It's been 20 minutes. The alarm went off, so yeah. we're going to check it out. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna see like how the breadcrumbs and such are acting. Maybe I, can, I should leave it in for a bit longer. Yeah, it's not really sticking together, the breadcrumbs. Oh, it doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, uh -huh. I think I'll give it like five minutes more. So now it's been in, in here for like an extra five minutes or so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And maybe just let it rest for a while, like with all casseroles. Exactly. So it like just settles down a little bit. Yep. Comes together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're ready to eat. Yep. Just some olive oil. Nice. And um, some balsamic. Mm -hmm. I'm starving. Ooh. Don't need to be firm. I need to be <laughs> cooked so I can eat it. Would you like some salad as well, Ty? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. I'm joking. Of course I yeah. do. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys have seen that this is a relatively easy recipe to make. Really quick. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. You know? Healthy, kind of. Super healthy, super nutritious. So, um, see you guys on the next episode. Marie's recipes. Mm. Hopefully I'll give this one a try and find out how tasty it actually is. Another fantastic meal. Thank you, Marie. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Till next time, Techno and Talk, Tuesday and Thursdays with Ty. And sometimes Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Yeah.
Vietnam belonged to the first generation mm -hmm. of the subculture. Yes. And lucky me. I understand. When you are when you are uh, building up and you, uh, you you get so strong, uh, you are so strong together because this is so new. Everybody is you know wow, exploring it together. Yeah. There are no and leaders. You, uh, everyone's kind of no leaders, yeah. and everything yeah. is new. And the music is you know. It, 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 this is like a religion, you know, yeah. it's wow, like and everything also. is, and, uh, and it's still, it's still, this is 30 years later and I'm still working with yeah. this movement. I understand. That's, uh, I mean, that's a huge impact. Yeah. Uh, that's how it should be, that's how I feel now. And I see a lot of my... Uh, record label owners and all my uh, uh, the ones who started early mm. they're still doing it yep. they're still and they're still uh, doing it with an honor uh, yep. look at our uh, Swedish heroes Adam Carri as they are in my age and they still, still hey, rocking. hey hey yeah. going on yeah. going on so uh, because it was a little bit from the beginning Ah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. But this is a strong movement, and I agree. it's never gonna end. And it's no, uh, let's say, it's no uh, age requirement thing. or restriction. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is. Uh, like I grew up in New York, and I saw, I caught like the, how would you say, maybe third, maybe begin, end of the second generation of hip hop. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw people, you know, just doing it because they love to do it. Mm. And then I saw how it was when people started making money mm. doing it. Yeah, yeah. And how, like, right now I don't even listen to that music anymore. Specifically because I feel like it's, it's almost an insult to what it was that I loved about that music in mm. the first place. Yeah. The level of complexity, some complexity, the level of, like, there were things that they were talking about in the music that weren't being talked about anywhere else in the culture. You know, the yeah, country was yeah. like ignoring some of these issues and you had like people that for the first time had a voice and they were using it. Yeah, some people were talking about their, their neighborhood and how fucked up it was. Cut. Cut. Now the family's home, so we take a little break. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit break. There is uh, a...